All right, so my name's Joey. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is actually, uh, it's gonna be a segment or a series of videos to help you prepare for the Ontario math proficiency test that they're handing out to all the Ontario College of Teachers um, effective in 2020. So I'm just gonna go over basically the questions that are actually on the math proficiency test site. And this is actually gonna be the first of many, many videos describing a step-by-step -step solution to kind of figure out what the answers are and how we get to the answers and i'll try to be as succinct as possible and yeah let's just jump into it so the first question we have here is what is 605 divided by 14 so i'll write this down so let's see what is 6605 6905 yeah 6 6905 divided by 34 i believe yeah, I can write that nicer actually. Six, nine, I'm sorry. Six, nine, oh, five divided by 34 equals what? So how do we solve this question? And change to a different color. So we solve this through this process of long division. So ideally we actually don't get a calculator in this section. So it's actually just unfortunate that we actually have to do this kind of by hand. So if we call from long division, we have here this concept of, um, we have this concept of this is the quotient and we have this here is the divisor. Sorry, this is the dividend. So this is the dividend. And then this is the divisor. And we want our answer is gonna be the quotient here. So to do long division, what we have to do is we'll scroll a bit down, is we're going to have to do this in pink. We're gonna have to do a long division. So how we if we call the dividend goes into this uh, bracket here. Six nine oh five goes into this little bracket. And we have thirty-four as our divisor here. So now we have to figure out how to how to divide this. So to figure out division, we actually have to do multiplication, multiplication as well. So we take these first two numbers, we have 69 here, we have 34. So we have to figure out what number goes into 69, as or as close as possible without going over. Remember, this is gonna be a multiply sign here. So our answer is gonna be up here as well. So we have here. <coughs> so if I do 34 times one, that's gonna be maybe 34. I'll just do some side work here. 34 times one. Is 34. 34 times 2 is if we get 2 times 4 is 8 here, and I get 2 times 3 here, which is 6. So 68 is probably closest to 69. Remember, I'm only looking at the first two digits here as well. So I'm going to put 2 up here because it's closest. And then I know 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 here is 6. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a subtraction. So I'm going to do this in yellow. And we're actually going to subtract these numbers together. So it's 69 divided by six minus sorry 69 minus 68. I have a one here, and I'm going to have to bring down. So remember, it's just uh, we have to bring down this zero here, and we do the exact same thing. Uh, so we repeat we repeat this process. So just to recall, we have here first we got to multiply, and then after multiplying, we subtract, and then we bring down. And then four is repeat. One, two, three. So what we have here is, again, I'm gonna do this back in green. So we have here 10 and 34, but 34 times, times one is already 34, I'm already going over, which means I have to multiply by zero because that's the only number that's less than, I mean, these can only be integers as well, so I'm gonna have to put zero here. So again, obviously here, 0 times 34 is just 0. Going back to yellow here. 10 minus 0 is obviously 10. I'm going to bring down yeah, 105 at the end here. And just one last time to repeat. So we'll have to figure, figure out, okay, what multiplies into 105. Now I have 105 now. So 34 times 1, here is 34. 34 times 2 is 68. What about 34 times 3? How do I do 34 times 3? 34 times 3, this is some side work again. It's just simply 68 times plus 34, right? I'm, I'm just adding 1. 
remember we don't get a calculator, so I can't actually just use my calculator. Remember, eight plus four here is 12. Carry the one over, one plus six is seven. I get 102, so seven plus three is 10, right? So I have 102 here, which means the 102 is actually what would rate because that fits into 105, right? So without going over. So this would be three, because remember, 34 times three here. Three times four, again, we already saw this, so this is actually 102, but we can do this again. Three times four here is 12. So I'm gonna put two here. So the three times three here is nine. So I have to add the one from the 10, from the uh, the 12 here, so it's actually 10. So nine plus one is obviously 10. 105 minus 102, again, five minus three here is just three. And 10 minus 10 is zero, right? So I have my answer here is I have 203, 34. And this three here is actually my remainder. Sorry, this is my remainder. So I can say my answer here is 203, remainder three.